Good evening everyone, uh, Alvaro back with another quick uh, tutorial video on how to use Adobe Illustrator for KDP. Um, I wasn't going to make a video today but I was in the group and I saw a lot of different uh, discussions going on um, about dot to dot pages so I thought I'd give you a quick rundown on how I might approach that in Adobe Illustrator. So before we begin uh, I wanted to ask you guys a question so if you could please leave me a comment below. Um, just a quick poll, what type of book do you guys enjoy creating in KDP the most? Please leave me a comment, uh, please leave me questions and suggestions. So uh, I'm going to start off here by grabbing my ellipse tool and I'm just going to create a large oval over here. Okay. Um, I normally come into my alignment panel, make sure that says align to artboard and then I usually center it horizontally and vertically. Okay. Next thing I want to do, I want a, a bold graphic here. So I'm going to start off with increasing my stroke to five points. This is probably going to change later, but for now I'm going to start off with five points. Now I'm going to go into my appearance panel. Okay, appearance panel is here. First thing I want to do is I want to make sure I have a no fill. Okay, so usually by default this has a white fill in it. For our purposes here I want no fill. Okay, so now I'm going to click on the stroke and it'll open up a secondary window for me. And there is this checkbox here for dashed line. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. And notice nothing has changed on my image um, because I need to input some numbers in these fields for dash and gap. And there's several fields for that, so you can have a very complicated dash line. For our purposes, I'm only going to use the first two boxes. So I'm going to go ahead and put that at five points also. That's going to change later, but for now, just as a starting point, that's the dash. And then the gap, I'm going to start off just by putting a 20 in and just to see what that looks like. So when I tab away, you can see I now have this dotted line going all the way around this circle. Okay, Those look like they're too close together, so I'm going to go into the gap and I'm going to increase it. And I think I'm going to put, um, see what 50 does. Okay, That's a little bit better, but I think I still want to change it. So I'm going to go back to stroke here, and for the gap I'm going to put 100. Tab. So now I'm going to zoom in. To show you guys, you'll notice that my dots here are actually little squares. Now if you like that, then great, go with it. If you don't like that and you want them to be more circular, I would come in here to stroke again. And you have some options here for the cap, the corner, and the aligned stroke. So I'm going to be looking at the cap. Right now, by default, what's selected is called a butt cap. And for anyone who does woodworking, you'll find that term very familiar. So it refers to the squarish end that we have for our lines. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch that to a dotted line. And you'll see what happened to our dash over here. Okay. Now it did, because we have it set to five points, it did turn into more of a line than a dot. So at this point, I'm going to come down here to my five points. And I'm going to take that down to, let's see what it does if I set it to one tab and that's more of a circle. Okay, I think I'll leave it at that. So control zero to fit it all on my page again. Let me click away real quick, see what that looks like. Of course now you could take your text tool, your type tool, and add your numbers going all the way around. Uh, something I'm gonna do here, I've built up some eye assets for myself. I'll drag one over here. I'll remember to break the link and then I'm gonna hold shift and alt down, enlarge this eye. Might be too big there. That's better. Now I'm going to move it into place. Okay, I think that looks good there. And let's see, let me get my pencil tool. I'm going to create a stroke up here. I'm going to change my width profile, which you guys may have seen in my last video. And I'm going to increase that to about, let's say, I think 7 looks good. I like that. So let's come over here and start drawing. Okay, so uh, made a nose here, but you can see you can see through it. So I'm going to click on fill, and now I'm going to give myself a fill there. I'm going to hit Control 2 to lock it, and so now I'm going to continue drawing. Okay, I'm going to lock that, Control 2. How about a cheek up here? Maybe one on this side, and a line right there. Accidentally made some marks over here. Delete those. Delete that, I don't need it anymore. And there you go. 